Father, bless. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, the comforter, the spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come. Let thy eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, if thou visitest me by night, thou wilt find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. With regard to the works of men, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to thy paths, and my feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God. Incline thy ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior, of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of thy wings, from the wicked who despoil me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity, and with their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down, there they surround me, they set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, as a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them, deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword. From men by thy hand, O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world. May their belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding thy form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Yea, let none that wait for thee be put to shame. Let them be put to shame who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I wait all the day long. Be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been from old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to thy steadfast love, remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him he will instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself will abide in prosperity, and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thou to me, and be gracious to me, for I am lowly and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart, and bring me out of my distresses, and consider my afflictions and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life, and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy steadfast love. According to thine abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. 
For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done that which is evil in thy sight, so that thou art justified in thy sentence and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sins did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness. Let the bones which thou hast broken rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldest not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good design in thy good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then thou wilt delight in right sacrifice and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered upon thine altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of your cross, preserve your habitation. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that has put forth the fruit of life. We pray thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints that mercy may be granted to our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Now the flaming sword no longer guards the gates of Eden. It has been mysteriously quenched by the wood of the cross. The sting of death and the victory of hell have been vanquished. For you, O my Savior, have come and cried to those in hell, enter again into paradise. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Though thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandment. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. Amen. 
Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to Thy divine judgment, save me, Thine unworthy servant. For blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and vindicate thee by my, thy might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For insolent men have risen against me, ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. He will requite my enemies with evil. In thy faithfulness, put an end to them. With the free will offering, I will sacrifice to thee. I will give thanks to thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thy face from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am overcome by my trouble. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked. For they being trouble upon me, and in anger they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Yea, I would wander afar, I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hasten to find me a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. Destroy their plans, O Lord, confuse their tongues. For I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and mischief and trouble are within it, ruin in its mists. Oppression and fraud do not depart, depart from its marketplace. It is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could bear it. It is not an adversary who deals insolently with me, then I could hide from him. But it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend. We used to hold sweet converse together within God's house. We walked in fellowship. Let death come upon them. Let them go down to shale alive. Let them go away and tear into their graves. But I call upon God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I utter my complaint and moan, and he will hear my voice. He will deliver my soul in safety from the battle that I wage, for many are arrayed against me. God will give ear and humble them, he who is enthroned from old, because they keep no law and do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was smoother than butter, yet war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will not permit the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, will cast them down into the lowest pit. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not know the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your habitation, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he cleaves to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
Let us praise Tikhon, the patriarch of all Russia, an enlightener of North America, the ardent follower of the apostolic traditions, and good pastor of the Church of Christ, who was elected by divine providence and laid down his life for his sheep. Let us sing to him with faith and hope and ask for his hierarchical intercessions. Keep the church in Russian in tranquility and the church in North America in peace. Gather her scattered children into one flock. Bring to repentance those who have renounced their true faith. Preserve our lands from civil strife and entreat God's peace for all people. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As there is no boldness in us because of the multitude of our sins, do thou, O virgin Theotokos, intercede with the Son whom thou hast borne. For the entreaty of a mother has great power to win favor of the Master. Despise not, O all venerable lady, the prayers of sinners, for he who took upon himself to suffer our sake is merciful and strong to save. Let thy tender mercies, O Lord, speedily go before us, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, O Lord. Deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Now the flaming sword no longer guards the gates of Eden. It has been mysteriously quenched by the wood of the cross. The sting of death and the victory of hell have been vanquished. For you, O my Savior, have come and cried to those in hell, enter again into paradise. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified. O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have 
For Metropolitan Tikon, for Archbishop Alexander, for the Honorable Priesthood, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this country, for its presidents, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, by air, and in space, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the mass, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Well, that was good as to make our common supplications and to thee, just promise them two or three are gathered together in thy name, that will grant the request.
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Thou good God, and lovest mankind, unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord our God, as a point in heaven, or as a host of our angels, to serve us thy glory, thy go last. You're good. Serve us, glorify the goodness, friend of the earth, glory. Bless the entrance of thy saints, always, now, and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen.
For holy art thou, O our God, and to thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Now and ever into ages of ages, amen.
Satan. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Wisdom. The proclaiming on in the sixth tone. O Lord, save thy people and bless Christ thine Christ inheritance. Christ upon the holy altar and turn upon us the grace thy all holy spirit. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. To thee, O Lord, will I call. O my God, be not silent to me. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. O Lord, save thy people. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us attend. Brethren, having therefore a great high priest who hath passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast the confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot be tempted in all things like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, who can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray, since he himself is also beset by weakness. Because of this, he is required as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. And no man takes this honor unto himself, but he that is called by God, as was Aaron. So Christ also did not glorify himself to become high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be thee that readest. And to thy spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Both thinking and doing such things as well pleasing unto thee. Without the true illumination of our souls and bodies of Christ our God, we send glory to thy Father who is not beginning. Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased of old. Amen. God is our King before the ages. He hath wrought salvation in the midst of the earth. Claims the glad tidings of the holy apostle and evangelist Mark. May God, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and honorable apostle and evangelist Mark, enable thee to proclaim the glad tidings with great power to the fulfillment of the gospel's beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The Lord said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. 
Peace to you, proclaims the glad tidings of the gospel. people sit up. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is in our midst. I am uh, personally just very honored, humbled, pleased to be in your midst uh, this morning and this past weekend, having had a chance to speak with the young adults you know we we i thought we would talk for like an hour uh we started at like six and i didn't get back to my hotel until about nine o'clock which means the juices were flowing which was very exciting and then of course yesterday uh you know i guess it's for you to decide i felt like it was a beautiful lenten retreat but i'm biased i'm the one who's giving it so uh but i i enjoyed it very much and then of course i'm i'm blessed and honored to uh, serve uh, at the blessing of uh, Father Ted, and then, of course, to preach. You know, uh, I want to begin my sermon in an odd place, and it's with a little bit of Latin, uh, Cure Deus Homo. Um, and for those of you who came to the Young Adult thing and, and came to the Lenten Retreat, this will, some of this will sound familiar, but Cure Deus Homo is the name of a text written by Anselm of Canterbury in the 11th century, and it means, basically, why God became man. Um, and Anselm's answer to this question is that, well, you've offended an infinite God. You've, of course, you know, this infinite offense cannot be repaid. There's nothing you can do. It has to be repaid. I mean, God's not an entity that gets offended and just lets it go. And so someone has to pay the penalty. And therefore, Christ came and became man and died on the cross to honor God, to pay that penalty towards God on your behalf, because he could pay it as God himself, uh, but it's man who has to pay it. And this, of course, goes on to have a, a massive influence in the Western tradition. And then, even further on, deeper in the Western tradition, this slightly becomes, he doesn't have to pay the penalty, but it's the suffering itself which is sort of satisfactory to God. I was online the other day looking something up, uh, only the Lord knows, and came across someone who had said just this, that when the Lord was on the cross and he was given vinegar and gall or wine and gall, depending on how you translate this, and he, you know, he puts it away, this commentator said he you know, eschewed the relief of the suffering, because is what gall would do. It kind of would be almost like a pain relief because he had to endure the full pain that was due to us uh, in his place. This is uh, deeply, deeply disturbing to me. Um, this is just, this is a monstrous God, quite frankly. And so I want to jump back to something I talked to the young adults about, to the a famous work, St. Athanasius of Alexandria, who writes another text we might kind of call a cure deus homo, because it's called On the Incarnation. Uh, and in there, he doesn't begin by saying why God became man, but he begins by saying we need to come up with an apology, i.e. a defense, an account of our God who became flesh and died on a cross. And we have to say something about this humiliation that he endured because the people who are around us are going to say this is, un this is inappropriate to God. And what Athanasius says, and I, I really encourage you, if you haven't read this, you know, put it on your list, sit down and read it. It's a, a masterpiece. He goes on to say, I, I feel like everything that can be said or should be said about who God is, who we are, and what our God has done for us. And what he says is this, so contrary to this cure deus homo that Anselm gives, Athanasius says, okay, God has made creatures. He's made creatures knowing, well, we're creatures. We are finite beings. We're contingent beings. We're limited beings. He's calling us from nothingness. He creates out of nothing. We are the stuff of nothing. You are dust, and the dust you will return. Well, God knowing this, 
knows it's going to be a bit of a journey for us. You know, it's going to be a bit of a journey for us to get to where God wants us to be. And so he invests Adam and Eve with a rational nature to partake of his own life. And he knows it's about to go down. And we fall. We fall far away from God. And it's so funny. Athanasius asks this question. Could God have left us? Could God have said, well, you did it to yourself. That's all that can be said. You deserve the punishment that's happened to you. Athanasius says, what is God being good to do? And he says he could absolutely not have left us to have made creation, to have known its limitations, to have known it would fall and be like, well, guess you got yourself into this one. No, this would be negligence, Athanasius says, the boldness of this man, you know, it was negligent on God's part. So Athanasius says something very bold. God had to do something. And I had to do something because someone else told him he has to do it. He has to do it according to his own character, what he is. He is the good God who made all things so that we might partake of his own life. And so this is why he says God became a man and died. But he goes a little further. Why, why though the incarnation? Why though the death? Okay, I accept that God would be negligent if he would leave us in this. But why all of this? Couldn't God just snap his fingers? Couldn't God just say, repent? Just turn back, humanity, and I will accept you. And Athanasius says, well, you know what? It'd be great if God could do that. God himself would be happy if that's how it went down. But repentance is not going to stop the problem. Because you think, if you think repentance is the only problem, you've missed something very key here. That when we turn to God, turned away from God, excuse me, we essentially drank poison. We are dying. We are a dying species. And we are corrupting and we are ignorant. And as I said a lot yesterday, we are distracted and fragmenting. This is a, a rot that goes deep. It's not enough to say, well, stop doing what you're doing. That would just, as he says, halt the destruction, but it wouldn't re-give us life. It wouldn't give us truth. And so God becomes a man to essentially weave into our nature the solution, to weave into our nature life. And he takes on the whole of our weakness as the, gospel, or as the epistle says today, he is a God, he is a high priest who knows our weakness. But he knows that weakness precisely so he can transform that weakness into strength. Right? So he weaves the solution into our very nature so that you might say, you have the solution within you now if you just unite yourself to Christ. If you unite yourself to his death and to his cross. And so, it's not that Christ has died, has been crucified, and has endured the suffering, the punishment, and now you're like off scot-free. It's quite the opposite, brothers and sisters. He has done this so that you can learn to suffer and to die well. But not just suffer and to die well in some abstract sense, but that in your suffering and death you might find Christ himself beside you. I want to read for you a, a passage from Elder Emilianos of Simona Petra from a great book, The Way of the Spirit. For those of you who don't know, Elder Emilianos reposed in 2019, was an elder, certainly a saint, and will be sainted at Simona Petra on Mount Athos. He says the following in the text, The Way of the Spirit. So this is our God. I have stretched out my hands all the day long to a disobedient and contrary people. We have no time for God. We're too busy. We don't think about him because we're tired. But all the day long, he stretches out his hands and entreats us. All the day long, Christ, the great high priest, stands with his hands outstretched on the cross, on which the little gods have nailed him. And from that lofty vantage point, he supplicates his heavenly father on our behalf. Though we crucify him every day, God prays for us. That, my beloved, is humility. As I said in my, my Lenten retreat, you know, the spiritual life is really this problem of not just death, not just ignorance, but really a kind of distraction and fragmentation away from God. 
unlike Mary, who sits at the feet of Jesus and hangs on his every word, we are the Martha, who is distracted by much serving, and we even judge others for their devotion. And this is why we are troubled by so much anxiety, chasing things in the world, in our lives, that we think will bring us peace, though it never does. Our Lord calls out to us, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And that one thing needful, brothers and sisters, is prayer. This is the glory of the incarnation and the glory of the cross. Even on the cross, Jesus teaches us how to pray. Teaches us that as the elder says, the little gods have nailed him up. He still says, forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. Prayer is our embrace of God It's our embrace of God face to face, body to body. Prayer is the time when we attempt to give everything to God, all of our attention to fixate on him alone, to leave aside all earthly cares, as we will sing shortly in the Cherubic hymn. And so we must really learn to pray. And as I said, to pray undistractedly. Because if you say you love someone and you are distracted, you do not love them. Can you imagine telling your spouse you love them and then at every engagement you were distracted by something else? Elder Emilianos uses uses an image. Imagine coming into this crowded room and we're crowded as you all were just standing a moment, but the beloved is in the middle. It's like no one is there. You, You beeline it to the beloved. You're not distracted by the crowded room. And so on this Sunday, When we think about the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and what I've said about Anselm, what I've said about Athanasius, our celebration, our prostration before the cross is not some morbid or macabre reflection on Jesus' suffering in the abstract, nor is it an image of God's anger at us. It is rather, as Elder Milianos says above, an image of God's complete, undistracted, unrelenting devotion to his creation. He never abandons us. He never has, and he never will. And even when we repay his unbelievable love by crucifying him, which we do every single day, as the elder says, every single day we put him up on that cross, because what could be more like nailing him to the tree than our utter, constant disregard for his his presence in our lives? So, Even when we do that, he's been crucified, he's being crucified, as it were. He still repays our insults with more prayer, more prayer and affection for us. So this is our God. And so we will sing soon in Lent, as we especially approach, you know, in Holy Week, today who hung the foundations of the earth is hung on a tree, and it is I who put him there every day, all the day long, I do not stretch out my hands to God, nor do I stretch out my hands to my neighbor. More often, I am grabbing, I am hoarding, I am consuming, I am collecting. I live for me, and I live in fear because I really have no control of anything that happens in the world. The only posture of freedom, really the only posture of freedom, I tell people this all the time, is the posture of the outstretched arms on the cross. Right? It's not defensive, it's not hoarding, it's not collecting, it's just open without fear. Why? Because only when you give freely, live freely, love freely, without any expectation, without any fear that it may not be repaid, again, how do we repay our Lord, can nothing be taken from you. What you give freely cannot be taken from you. So behold the cross, behold the man, Behold him who is mocked, tortured, killed, and yet still says, forgive them. You cannot control that man. You cannot have any power over him. You cannot force him to do what you want. He is free, free to love, free to be human. When a man gorges himself on food, he acts like there will be no food tomorrow. Perhaps all the delicacies of the world will melt away and I will have nothing. So, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. This man lives in total fear. He's imprisoned by fear, controlled by fear, but that is not how man was meant to live, is what Christ teaches us. So when Christ says, if you desire to come after me, if you desire this liberating freedom of love, then take up your cross, lose your life, lose the world. 
It seems hard, hard words. Who can bear it? Until you realize, like I began, that our life, our world, up to this point, is this distracted mess. It's not real life. It's not the real world. There is no true selfhood, no true presence, no true love by someone who is dying, distracted, fragmented, and does not know how to receive the love of God and re return that love freely. And so the cross is our path. It is our way. Christ did not take up the cross so we don't have to die. He took up the cross, as I said, so we can learn to die. We can know how to die. We can know how death can actually be life-giving for us. And this is the truth of the matter. Until we learn to die, to ourselves especially, we will never learn to love. There is no love without death. Because love means letting go of all my selfishness, my distorted attachments, my distracted behavior, so I can finally see what is right in front of me. The God who stretches out his hands all the day long. And so I challenge you, have we been too busy this Lent? Have we failed to truly think about God, to keep him in our mind, in our heart, always? Have we grown tired and weary from our efforts? Do we even sometimes feel crucified by others and yet do not repay that with just prayerful love, but repay it instead with resentment? Let us not forget, it is Christ himself who all the day long stretches out his hands for us. Let us remember that when Moses was in the wilderness, his hands grew weary from holding up the rod and a stone was placed under him so that he might find support. It is Christ who is the cornerstone, cornerstone. It is Christ who is the rock. Only in Christ can we find the kind of support we need, the kind of rest we need. So brothers and sisters, let us fight to be weary. Fight to be weary. For as God says, my strength is made perfect in weakness. And as Elder Miliano says, only by ceaselessly yielding and surrendering to him, and only by our utter self-denial and voluntary death, can we see Christ as truly living, as truly risen, as stretching out his hands for us all the day long? And in that moment, we will be free. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. O oh Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have, mercy. <coughs> have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Teacon, for our Archbishop Alexander, for priests, deacons, and all of the clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this country, for its presidents, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church. For Matush Golga, the Archpriest Sergius, the Archpriest Anthony, Larry and Leland, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Bob, Joan, Susan, Betty Sue, Judy, and Alexandra and for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, <clears throat> Lord, you bless St. Justin Martin with the miracle of this land, and through the generosity of your people, made it possible to build this temple to worship you in, for which we are grateful. Today we humbly pray for another blessing, that our hearts would be stirred with the same generosity Israel had in the building of the tabernacle, that we may expand this temple and the fellowship hall to the glory of your holy name, that it serves your, your people. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again.
again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens draw near. Pray to Lord Catechumens. Let us the faithful pray to the Catechumens, Lord, may verse in them, they may teach the word of truth, reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, and may unite them to the holy Catholic Council of Church, help them, save them, have mercy, and keep them of God by your grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord Catechumens. O Lord, our God, who dwells in the heavens and regards all thy works, look down upon your servants, the catechumens, who are bowed their necks before thee. Make, grant them a light yoke. Make them honorable members of thy holy church. Make them worthy of the latter generation, holy chrismation, remission of sins, and the robe of incorruption, for knowledge of thee, our true God. That with us may glorify our honorable and majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. The blessing of the Lord God's Christ be upon you. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. Let God always by thy might and may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Receive the time now. We're receiving the time right now. <laughs> the blessing of our Lord God Jesus Christ be upon you. God, since the Christ our God, the sweet spirit of fragrance, receive upon the heavenly altar, turn upon us the grace of the all Holy Spirit. Bound with desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy of approach to draw near to serve the king glory for the minister of these great and fearful even the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, the last people by this love for mankind that has become man with our change of alterations, become our high priest, and master faults, commit to us the mysteries and search for the sacrifice. But I will learn our Lord our God rules over those in heaven and earth who are born that the cherubim, my Lord the Savior, the King of Israel. The Lord, holding this rest in the saints. Therefore, I entreat thee, the Lord, good and ready to listen. Look down on me, the sinful and profitable servant. Cleanse my soul and my heart from evil conscience. By the power of thy Holy Spirit, enable me, who clothe the grace of the priest, to stand before this thy holy table, and perform the sacred mystery of the holy, most pure body and precious blood. For I draw near to thee, and bow my neck, I implore thee. Do not turn thy face away from me, nor cast me out from among thy children. Make me thy sinful and worthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to thee. For thou thyself art he that offers, as often accepts as distribute of Christ our God. I thee we send glory together thy Father, who is thou beginning, and thy all holy, good, and life giving spirit. Now endeavoring to make the vagues on them. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. 
Those who miss me represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life praying trinity, now lay aside all earthly cares. Let's, Mr. Chairman, thrice and inflect and turn outside all earthly cares. Forgive me, my brothers, you can celebrate. Yes. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and pray for me. Forgive us, for us for sisters, we're in any way. Bless the Lord. Good Lord, God, remember that Jack in his kingdom always now and ever to his days. Do you guys carry these? Your Archpriest, remember your Lord, God, remember his kingdom always now and ever to his days. His beatitude, Tikhon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, His Eminence Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas in the South, may the Lord God remember in His heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. This country, its president, all civil authorities, and those who serve in the armed forces, may the Lord God remember in His kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The founders and benefactors of this holy temple, those who labor and serve and sing, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The sick and the suffering servants of God, those suffering from violence, terrorism, war, famine, and plague, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox depart this life in faith and hope in the resurrection. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Noble Joseph, the kingdom of the Bible, tree wrapped in fine linen, going to the spices, and placed in every new tomb. God, in paradise, the feet from the throne of the Father and the Holy Spirit, as thou boundless Christ, from the all things bearing life, more fruitful than paradise. Wrapped in fine linen, anointed with spices, and placed it in a new tomb. To be pleased in the sacrifice of righteousness for oblation, home burnt offerings, then shower for bullocks. Let upon us thine complete altar. our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian, ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compass, and let me go on some things that are blessed together, the Holy Good and Life Creek Spirit, now turn to ages of ages. Be unto all. Let 
us love one another that with one mind we may confess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. O thou who art, O Master, Lord God, Father Almighty, and adorable, is truly meet and right and befitting the majesty of thy holiness, to praise thee, to hymn thee, to bless thee, to worship thee, to give thanks to thee, and to glorify thee, the only truly existing God, to offer to thee this rational worship with a contrite heart and a spirit of humility. For thou hast granted us the knowledge of thy truth, who can utter thy mighty acts, or make all thy praises to be heard, or tell of all thy wonders at all times. O Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, of all creation, both visible and invisible, who sittest upon the throne of glory and beholdest the depths without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, indescribable, changeless, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great God and Savior, our hope, who is the image of thy goodness, the seal of thy very likeness, revealing thee the Father and himself, the living word, the true God, the wisdom before the ages, the life, the sanctification, the power, the true light, through whom the Holy Spirit was revealed, the Spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal good things, the life-giving power, the fountain of sanctification, through whom every creature of reason and understanding worships thee and sends up to thee, the unceasing hymn of glory, for all things are thy servants. Thou art praised by angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and many-eyed cherubim. Round about thee stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, and with two they fly, crying one to another with unceasing voices, never silent songs of glory. Singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying... Holy, holy, Lord God, Sabaoth, have we never fooled by glory of Son of the highest, blessed be the comes in the name of the Lord of Son and the With these blessed powers, O Master, love us mankind, we sinners also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou in truth and all holy, and there are no bounds to the majesty of thy holiness. Thou art holy also in all thy works, for thou hast brought all things to pass for us with righteousness and true judgment. 
When thou didst form man by taking dust from the earth and dishonor him with thine own image, O good God, thou didst set him in the paradise of delight, promising him immortal life and the enjoyment of eternal good things and the observance of thy commandments. But when man disobeyed thee, the true God who had created him, and was led astray by the guile of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions, thou, O God, in thy righteous judgment, didst send him forth from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth in which he was taken, providing for him salvation through rebirth in thy Christ himself. For thou didst not turn thyself away forever from thy creature, whom thou hadst made, O good one, nor didst thou forget the work of thy hands, but through the tender compassion of thy mercy that visit him in various ways. Thou didst send prophets, thou hast performed mighty deeds and works by thy saints, who in every generation were pleasing to thee. Thou didst speak to us by the mouth of the servants, the prophets, for telling to us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the laws of help, thou didst appoint angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, thou didst speak to us through thy Son himself, by whom thou didst make the ages, who, being the radiance of thy glory and the image of thy person, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal to thee, the God and Father. Though he was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men. And becoming incarnate of a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and being likened to the body of our lowliness, that he might liken to us the image of his glory." For since by man sin entered into the world, and by sin death, so it pleased thy only begotten Son, who was in the bosom of thee, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, never virgin Mary, who was born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who were dead in Adam might be made alive in thy Christ himself. He lived in this world and gave us commandments of salvation, and releasing us from the delusions of idolatry, he brought us to knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, obtaining us for himself as his own people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. And having cleansed us with water and sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. And descending through the cross into hell that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the pangs of death. And when he had risen on the third day, having made for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author of life to be held by corruption, he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence over all. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he will come to render to every man according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these things which we have set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death, in the night in which he was give, gave himself up to the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and pure hands, and we had shown it to thee, the God and Father, and had given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Like guys, you take the cup of the vine, having mingled it and given thanks and having blessed it and hallowed it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remembering his saving passion, life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension to heaven and sitting at the right hand of thee, the God and Father, and his glorious and second coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we give thanks unto Thee, O Lord, and we pray unto Thee, O our God. God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O Thou, with the third hour, to send down the most holy spirit upon the apostles, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto Thee. Oh, that's the third hour. Take it up to the third hour. Take it up to the third hour. Take it up to the
Therefore, O holy Master, we also, thy sinful and worthy servants who have been made worthy to minister at thy holy altar, not because of our unrighteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because of thy mercy and compassion which thou hast richly poured out on us, now dare to approach thy holy altar, and presenting the antitypes of the holy body and blood of thy Christ, we pray thee and call upon thee, O holy of holies, that by the favor of thy goodness thy Holy Spirit may come upon us upon these gifts now offered, to bless them, and to hollow, and to show. Bless Master the Holy Bread. He doesn't do that. No. This bread to be the truly, the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be truly the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world. Amen. 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 And unite to one another, all of us who partake of the one bread and cup into communion of the one Holy Spirit, and grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of thy Christ for judgment or condemnation. Instead, may we find mercy and grace through all the saints who through the ages have been well pleasing to thee, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith especially with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With the Holy Prophet, foreigner and baptized with the Lord John, with the Holy Glorious and Lovable Apostles, with the Saint Teek on his memory, keep this day of all the saints whose supplication visits our God. Remember all those who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection, to eternal life, and give them rest of light that kind of shines on them. Again, we entreat thee, remember, O Lord, thy holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, who is from the end of the earth. Give peace to her who thou hast attained with the precious blood of thy Christ, and preserve this holy house to the end of the world. Remember, O Lord, those who have offered these gifts unto thee, and those who have been through whom it has been on, on behalf of whom. They have offered them. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in thy holy churches, and those who remember the poor. Reward them with thy rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them heavenly things for earth, and eternal things for temporal, things incorruptible for things corruptible. Remember, O Lord, those in the deserts, mountains, caverns, and pits of the earth. Remember, O Lord, those who live in Virginia and godliness and austerity and holiness of life. Remember, O Lord, this country and all civil authorities. Grant them a secure and lasting peace. Speak good things into their hearts concerning thy church and all thy people, that we in the tranquility may lead a common peaceful life our God's and sanctity. Remember, O Lord, the principality, authority, our brethren, who serve in the government and armed forces. Preserve the good and thy goodness to make the evil be good by thy goodness. Remember, O Lord, the people here present, all those who are absent for good reasons. Have mercy on them and on, on us according to the to thy mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Raise the infants, guide the young, support the aged, and encourage the faint-hearted. Gather together those who are dispersed. Lead back those who are in error. Join in thy holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are vexed by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel those who travel by land and by air. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Free the captives. Heal the sick. Remember, O oh God, those who are in courts and mines and exile, harsh labor, those in every kind of affliction, assess your distress. Remember, O oh Lord, our God, those who entreat thy great loving kindness, those who love us, those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, and would that we be. Remember all thy people, O oh Lord, our God. Pour out their rich mercy upon all of them, granting them all their petitions there for salvation. To thyself, O God, remember all those we have not remembered through the ignorance, forgetfulness, and the multitude of names, since thou knowest the name and age of each, even from his mother's womb. But our Lord, of the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, of the savior of the storm, the haven of the voyage, of the physician of the sick, be all things to all men, that thou knowest each man his request, his home, his need. Deliver this city, O Lord, of the city and country, seven fame and plague, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasion, civil war. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Metropolitan Teak, on our Archbishop Alexander, grant them for the Holy Churches and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. And grant that with one mouth and one heart may glorify and praise the honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
Precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having Alter, received them upon like his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness of our condemnation may dare to call only the heavenly God as Father and to say. Heads unto the Lord. To thee, o Lord. Master, Lord, Father of compassion, and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, strengthen, and empower those who have bowed their heads to thee. Make them withdraw from every evil work, unite them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these and most pure and life giving mysteries for the remission of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Through the grace and compassion love toward mankind, the Holy Begotten Son of God, blessed, together with all the Holy and Life King Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy. I believe our Lord, Lord, and I confess that I am truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. I believe also 
Yeah, the hot water on that, you probably shouldn't be doing it yet. Okay. Lord, I pray a mercy upon me. And forgive me. Some priests don't, but I do. That's what, I, that's what we do, too. Precious body and blood, Lord, we just pray that you be the chief and neutral from the truth of sin to life to last. Amen. Lo, I draw near to Christ, my immortal King and my God. Holy precious body of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, give it unto me. And you know, the priest Alexander, for remission of my sins to life to lasting. Lord, Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, give it unto me. Then, Lord, the priest, the remission of my sins unto life to lasting. Amen.
Lo, again, I draw near unto Christ, and Lord the King, and my God. As the precious blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, has given unto me, the unworthy priest Alexander, permission of my sins, unto life everlasting, in the name of the Father. Touch my lips, take away all my iniquities, <laughs> and cleanse me of my sins. Let's like touch the blood of the Lord God Jesus Christ. Give me one more hot water in there. Okay. Hot water. Let's like touch the blood. Take away all your iniquities and cleanse you of your sins. I'm losing it. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I thought you were giving it to the bring out. I was like, <laughs> just not dead. Hmm? Now I'm just being dead. I'm practicing for retirement, you know. <laughs> so one day, so one day, he said, he said, I said, watch out. One day, I'm going to wipe the drool off my face. <laughs> I almost said something to me, I said, don't worry, I'm going to wear a diaper too. That's right. Freaked him out totally. This one in the center. You yep. follow Jake and I'll go to the side. Okay. And you'll have two ladies come over and help you with the cloth. Okay. You'll take it out. Probably take it out. Okay. In the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God, Moses, for his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So, for his body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God, for his permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. If you don't just be challenged here, do you? So, for his body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given to the servant of God. Nicholas, permission of the sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So, for his body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, known now, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I preach the body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, and give unto the hand of God. Esther, permission for your sins and the life of the last of men. So I preach the body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, give unto the servant of God. Christopher, permission for your sins and the life of the last of men. 
so I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to him again. Jeremiah, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to him again. David, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the hand of God. Sylvia, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the hand of God. Julia, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to him God. Rowan, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God. Rachel, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, Alexandra. Permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God. John, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, Deborah, Sabrina. Permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given unto the servant of God. Cyril, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God. Yana. Yana, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, Claudia, permission of her sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given unto the servant of God. Theophon, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God, Raphael. Raphael. Rotate it around. Rotate it. Will you open for me? Will you? Oh, come on. You got it. You got it, my man. Thank you. Of course. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God. Dan. Dan. Permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the hand of God, Christian. Permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God. What's your name? Isaiah, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto a servant of God, is it? So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given unto the servant of God. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given the handmaid of God. What's your name? Bridget. Bridget of her sins and the life everlasting on them. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given unto the servant of God. What's your name? Seraphim, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God. Justin. Justin, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God. George, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of the Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God. John. So I purchased the body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, given to the servant of God. Michael, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased the body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God. Philip, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased the body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God. Nicholas, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased the body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God. Maria, permission of his sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the servant of God, Justin, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. You two ladies. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, Bridget, permission of sins and the life everlasting. Amen. So I purchased body and blood of our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, is given unto the handmaid of God, Abigail, permission of her sins and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you, ladies. Those who touch your lips will take away all your iniquities and cleanse you of your sins. Heaven be held the resurrection of Christ. Let's worship the Lord Jesus who is in this one. We venerate the cross of Christ. We praise and glorify the holy resurrection. Lord our God, you no other than me. We call upon thy name. We call upon thy name. Come on, you faithful. Let's venerate Christ. We're ready for the Lord Jesus Christ. Come into all the world. Let's bless the Lord. Praise for the resurrection. Behold. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those here remembered by thy precious blood and through the prayers of thy saints. Oh, 
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, mortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, to thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in thee. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God, who has led us in these all revered days, has made us communicants of thy dread mysteries, unite us to the rational flock, and show us to be heirs of thy kingdom now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope, glory to thee. our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles of our Father among the saints, St. Basil the Great, whose memory we keep this day, 
of our venerable and God-bearing Father, Justin Martyr, patron protector of this holy temple, and of St. Tikhon, Metropolitan of Moscow, and Enlightener of North America, whose memory keep this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim Anand, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory Let us say the uh, first prayer of thanksgiving together. Glory to our God, glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God. I thank thee, O Lord, Lord my God, for thou hast not changed to me a sinner. There's no cross today because the cross is not in the So uh, I would have given it to you to give tonight, or give today. So, but we have a few announcements. What happened was people would not listen to them at first. They said we're going to do one together. So they're just like, hey, now everyone does it, and that's it. So next week will be two. For the voice of peace is unceasing. We go out and suppose all the goodness of the Good prayer, Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Good morning, Christ is our midst. Please. Please. Give him a mic. Daniel. Okay, good morning everyone. So I have a couple questions for you. How many people today felt a little crowded in church? Come on, show your hand. I know you did. So okay, how many people have have driven into the parking lot, maybe a little late, but struggled to find a parking space out there in the parking lot? Okay. So how many people have filled out their capital campaign card and turned it in? Okay, that's right. See, we need a lot less hands. So please, everyone, um, if you haven't filled out your campaign card and turned it in, please do so. I know that you know the deadline's not for another couple weeks, so uh, don't worry. Just a friendly reminder to continue to prayerfully contemplate 
uh, the card. If you've lost your card or you can't find the little flyer that we handed out last week and the week before, I think there's some in the back. If you still can't get a hold of one and you need one, ask me or Father Tad or Naria. And then uh, also, I think you can actually do it online. On what, our web, I don't, not sure if the fill-in ones. Then I know we're putting a fill-in on the website, but everything else is on the website. Okay. But you can just text me, email me, call me, <laughs> or Bruce. Yeah, just don't write it in sand. That you know, that in my, <laughs> it's kind of hard to show the bank that. But anything else, you we would more than gladly have. And again, you know, no pressure. So deadline's not for another couple of weeks. But we have noticed that. You know, we, more, we are expecting more cards at this point in time than we've gotten, so just yeah. FYI. Thank you very much, and uh, I think that's it. Good. Well, I want to welcome into our midst, um, for sure, or with so much gratitude to follow Alexander. In fact, I think we need to make this an annual event here for the retreat. It was really wonderful. Um, I tell you, if you missed a retreat yesterday, you missed a really, really, really uh, good presentation. It, it really, I, I loved it. Thank you so much. And um, Father has obviously a very talented young man. Um, you can read it. I put a little his bio in the bulletin. I met him, I don't know how many years ago, about two, three years ago. And I had lunch with him. I was really like, man, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed being with you. And I think um, it's just, we had a really nice uh, lunch yesterday, but I really, you're a great brother. Thank, Thank you for you. being Thank here you, with Bob. us. Likewise. So, um, two things. the best cup of coffee you'll ever drink. Oh, yes. That's what I came here for. <laughs> and I dare you to put this on Father Marcus's truck. <laughs> That's his senior priest. Let it, let it be done. <laughs> That's right. So but thank you so much for being thank with you. us. As, as um, Bruce alluded to, we expect um, parking will be pretty full. So we expanded the parking lot. I think we added about a dozen spots parking out on the grass. Um, we have to take and cover up a few um, sprinkler heads. They're, they've got flags on there, so they'll be taken care of this week. So, but please, um, uh, you know, when you pull in, you know, for those who are able to walk distances on grass, et cetera, please use the overflow parking lot. I think the overflow parking lot is getting kind of close to the same size as the asphalt um, parking lot. Please do it yourselves. Also, um, See, let's see, Wednesday evening we have our pre-sanctified dinner, um, pre-sanctified liturgy and then a covered dish. And again, please help clean up afterwards. Please read my note in a bulletin about Lenten confessions. And in the bulletin this week is our annual jumbo shrimp baseball game. Um, sign up now if you can today. We get a discount if we, if we buy so many tickets early. So if you sign up on the bulletin board now, you don't have to pay but to sign up for it and um, so that we can order the tickets. Um, it's always a fun event. And I think everybody else here has their announcements. I, don't need to say, I need not say a word. Thank you, Daniel. I'll start off with the youth announcements. This Wednesday, for our middle schoolers and high schoolers, we have our pre or post Lenten, uh, pre yeah, Lenten uh, uh, dinner together after pre sanctified liturgy. That's where the pre was coming. There we go. <laughs> um, and it will be for, again, middle schoolers and high schoolers following the service. And then next Sunday, we're going to have our movie night uh, on the Passion of, of Passion of the Christ, or Passion of Christ. I got to read the title because I keep forgetting. So Passion of the Christ. And uh, Robbie is going to be leading the youth in a, in a little lesson tied with the film. So it's going to be very exciting. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet in the bulletin for the movie. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or Sean. And our information is in the directory. In addition to that, we also have our annual overnighter uh, vigil for the middle schoolers and high schoolers. This is a great time for the kids uh, to be together as we, the youth program, will help the church prepare for Pascha and guard the tomb. It's a lot, a lot of fun, and overnight we will sleep. Uh, so don't worry, parents, uh, there will be time for sleep. And this is gonna be on Holy Friday, and that's gonna be May 3rd. May 3rd, Holy Friday, can't believe we're already getting closer to a Pascha, so this is gonna be a great time. And if you have any other questions or would like to see other uh, upcoming activities, take a look in the bulletin. Thank you. For those who are newer to our community, I just want you to know that that Holy Friday evening really gets all the kids glued together. It's really a wonderful thing, and they make the church clean. And they 
thank you for doing this. But it's really an awesome thing. So if you haven't had your children here before, your kids are in middle school or high school, please encourage them to be here. It's so good for them to be here spiritually and as far as uh, community with the two others. Thanks, Ms. Bethany. All right, good morning. So it's that time of year where we need to sign up for Holy Week and Pascha preparation. So there are sign-up sheets in the Fellowship Hall. They're on beautiful purple, purple paper. Thank you, Naria, for uh, putting that on there. And uh, there's a lot of things that we have to get done to prepare for Holy Week and Pascha, and it takes all of us to do it. So we have cheat sheets for you. So we need team leaders. We need helpers. We will give you the instructions. We will give you every supply that you need to complete a task. We just need people to sign up. So there's also food sign up. So if you feel like you can't sign up to do a certain task and you just want to bring food for our Lazarus Saturday breakfast or our uh, Friday evening dinner, um, you can sign up for that as well. If you have any que questions, you can uh, see myself or Machka and we can help you. Thank you so much. And I have one more announcement. Um, Pasca picnic is coming up as well, and we are collecting uh, candies, and uh, we will be filling up eggs uh, starting pretty soon on that. And I want to thank everybody who has uh, who had took the extra step uh, after Western Easter last week and went out and got discounted Easter candy. Thank you so much. Uh, so we are going to be continuing to collect uh, eggs and candies, and if you want to pre-fill eggs at your house, next week we'll have some... Uh, eggshells that are connected from the thousands of them that we have in a box. Um, so if you're looking forward to helping out in that capacity for the Pasca picnic, this is another opportunity to be engaged during this time. Thank you. So speaking of decorating eggs, um, for, the, for women, all ages are welcome to come this Friday, April 12th at 6 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. We'll be decorating the sonki style eggs, which is very intricate and you don't have to have experience with this. We have all the supplies. Um, if you do have the, the wax pens to do it, feel free to bring them. But um, also please bring a Lenten dish to share and let me know if you're planning on coming so we can make sure that we have all of the supplies. But um, I look forward to seeing you and it'll be a fun time. So. All right, I need everyone to raise their hand if they need a relaxing weekend. No, no one here? No, not that many people, okay. Well, if you're a guy, put it down, because this is a girls' weekend. Um, we have a cabin um, in Melrose, Florida. That's about an hour and 10 minutes from here. And we're going to have a ladies' uh, sleepover weekend. Uh, it's $40 a head. There's kayaking, uh, obviously a lake, two big lakes, um, swimming, paddle boats, uh, hiking, and then we're going to have like relaxing um, prayer in the morning and do some readings, maybe of um, some of the saints and um, campfires, all that fun stuff. So it's not in the bulletin yet, but if you're interested, um, reach out to me so we can get an idea of how many people want to come. Oh, yes, um, the weekend of uh, June 7th, June 7th weekend. All right, um, for our choir members, again, we'll be having another choir practice uh, for Holy Week and Pascha music today. About 12.30 to 12.40, I'll come around and get people. Thank you. And lastly, uh, just as a reminder, our homeless ministry is coming up this Saturday. If you'd like to participate, um, we meet here at 3.30, head downtown, but all throughout the week, uh, Monday through Thursday, 9 to 4. We, have, um, uh, we can drop things off, non-perishable goods or prepackaged goods, uh, granola bars, applesauce, jerky, jerky, things like that, and especially um, bottled water as it's going to start getting warm out. Okay, so for many years today, I see Ken and Sandy each have a birthday. Is that accurate? Both at the same time? Very good. We'll sing many years for those two good people, and also, of course, for Father Alexander for being with us. Grant to Lord, process, peace of life, hail salvation, for it's all things for your servant, the priest Alexander, and for your servants, Ken and Sandy, who celebrate their anniversary of their birth and preserve them for many years.
for that one because it's the Sunday of the cross. The priest doesn't give the cross, or we've had Father Alexander give the cross today. Um, so when you come, for, we'll, we'll, just as a priest will in two seconds to make two prostrations, venerate the cross, and then a uh, third prostration will go next door. Um, again, thank you, Father, for being with thank us. And, and let's ask God to bless the food next door. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, thank you for many blessings. I pray for um, Father Alexander for his safe travels back up to South Carolina, for his wife who's about to give birth. Um, for the unborn baby in her womb and for the rest of the family, for Father Marcus and the whole parish up there. Lord, I pray for our uh, capital campaign to be excess. I also pray, Lord, for peace in the Ukraine and in um, Israel and Palestine. In Christ our God, I would ask that you bless the food and drink and ease your service and ease your service. For your holy always now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> You're still first. one thing, you bounce up and down a lot quicker than I do. <laughs> Make a prostration, you bounce up and down.